We're looking at some organs that are associated with the kidney, with the uh, digestive system, and even the lymphatic system. So there's a kind of a nice little hodgepodge of things here. Probably the most obvious organ is the pancreas. You can appreciate how the pancreas has these pancreatic ducts, which ultimately drain into the small intestine. And specifically, this region of the small intestine is referred to as the duodenum. Now, um, the area of drainage is referred to as the duodenal papillae. So that's these little pore things right here. You can also see that right here is uh, a green tube. This is the common bile duct coming from the call bladder. And at this lower, or may I well say the major duodenal papillus, um, in effect we have both bile and fluids coming from the pancreas draining into the duodenum. Um, this is the gallbladder here, and this is the liver. These two ducts are referred to as the hepatic ducts, which form the common hepatic duct, which join to form the bile duct, and then coming from the bile duct is the cystic duct, which ultimately comes into the gallbladder. Now, it doesn't appear this way because it looks like everything's straight up and down, but in reality, the gallbladder rests below the liver. And so as the liver makes bile, the bile drains into the common hepatic duct, into the common bile duct, and then it's stopped by the sphincter muscle down here at the duodenal papillus, uh, in, or in that general region, uh, which we call the hepatopancreatic sphincter. So if this is closed, it means that we're not having any intestinal activity in the duodenum. And so the bile is going to be produced by the liver pretty constantly. It's going to back up, travel all the way up through the cystic duct, and it will be stored in the gallbladder itself. All right, let's take a look at a few other structures, since this is such a whippy model. Um, notice at the end of the pancreas is the spleen. And the artery going to the spleen is, of course, the splenic artery. Um, if you take a look here, these are the kidneys and the adrenal glands on top of the kidneys. And then let's take a look at the back and see what we have. In effect, this is the celiac trunk. And this is a blood vessel then going to the stomach, which ultimately go to the stomach. That would be the left gastric artery. This is the common hepatic artery, which will ultimately go to the liver. And then, of course, the splenic artery would be right here. This is the, these folds within the small intestine are the plicae circularis. And, of course, we see them quite nicely in the duodenum right here. Now, like the pancreas, the duodenum is retroperitoneal, which means it's found be, be, uh, behind the peritoneum.